Good morning. Hi, darling. How, How are you doing? You? I'm, I'm fine. Okay, that's I'm good. Just... We're, so, we're so excited this morning. Yes. It's just beside ourselves. <laughs> It is Easter weekend, long yeah. weekend, four days for us this weekend. Yep. So we and Manfred yep. are heading to our first camp out for the season. And where are we going, darling? We are going to the Gallagher Lake campground in the lovely little town of Oliver, which is way down south in the valley. Yeah, it's about three hours, you know, mm. so maybe it's about 1030 now. You know, like check-in time is until 2, so... Lots of time. Yeah, and they were pretty honored about, hey, they'll be there too much earlier than 2, so... Yeah, so, and you know. it being a holiday Friday, the traffic will be... Traffic will be kind of goofy, especially going across the bridge in Kelowna, so... Yeah. Well, and guess what? Uh, GoPro's charged up this time, and we have extra batteries. <laughs> uh, yay! <laughs> no more of that kind of stuff. Yeah, so... So, no, and Manfred's all hitched up. Yep. Everything went well, All sort good. of. Got it loaded. I don't know if you can see the cedars are right here. I can't hardly get my door open. I got to trim them buggers here. These. They aren't even mine. Yeah. The next no, door neighbor planted them too close. But anyway. Real world problems. We digress on that. <laughs> so, yeah, we're all ready to go. Yeah. So we're going to uh, take our time. We'll shoot a little road footage on the way and maybe get some more pictures of the lakes as we go by. Yeah. And um, might even stop again at our little Bliss Bakery and... Have a coffee. We'll see. That's we'll how see. time goes. We'll but we do have. Ah, uh, we do have. We do have. We do have. Oh, don't spill them. Well, I didn't. Careful, there's a hole in them. I know there's a hole, and I didn't know you put a hole. Well, how oh. did that's what they're gonna get in the other day. Well, I don't know. Hang on. Come Hang on. on. She's coming. I'm coming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, probably easier if I put them in a proper container. But um, chocolate peanut M and M's. This is actually a surprise for her. Mm -hmm. I've been hiding them, and I snitched a couple. That's why they're holding them back. So I put them in, and she knows them when she got in. Somewhere. We used to do this all the time, way back when we used to travel. We always had a container with M and M's. Yeah. Uh, needless to say, the brandy stayed home when we were traveling. Yeah, we. Uh, <laughs> but we have since kind of weaned ourselves off that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah so, it's uh, nice for a treat once in a while. Yeah, yeah. And it's Easter. Why not? Yeah, why not? So. Okay. All right then. So. Fire up. Let's go. Let's do this. Beauty. So as we travel a little further south through the valley, you're going to notice that the landscape begins to change as we move to a more arid and drier vegetation. These are still t the tall ponderosa pines, but the scrub brush gets a little shorter and a little drier looking. And in the summertime, it gets really baked out. We're going to come up to Penticton here, kind of at the southern end of Okanagan Lake. Bypassing the city, we're actually going to be taking the city bypass, which will take us around the outskirts of Penticton. And on the outskirts, we'll find the canal. In the summertime, this becomes the floaty capital of Canada. It is wall-to-wall -wall tubers and floaties. It runs from the city all the way down from the south end of Okanagan Lake to this north end of Skaha Lake. Rounding the corner back on the Highway 97, if you watch closely, you'll see a little speck up there in the sky, right about there. Yeah, kite surfing, they do that down here a lot. We get some pretty decent breezes, so 
that's a pretty popular popular sport now you'll see the far side of Skaha Lake there um, there is a road that runs along very really good road for cycling um, small beaches it's a lovely lake nice recreation lake and as we come down to the south end of Skaha Lake into the little town of Okanagan Falls we're going to make our transition down the highway a little further this is Vassal Lake this is a small fishing lake, um, small recreation lake, a couple of small campgrounds along here as well. You can see that some of the guys are out there fishing already today. It's a little blustery. We've got whitecaps out there, so I'm not sure if fish were biting or not. It's a decent sized lake. There's even a little island all by itself out there. I don't know if we'll get it in the, in the shot here or not, but big rock formation down at the south end there. You can see we call that Indian Head. And you can just barely make out his nose there. It's easier to see when you get a little closer. Then we're going to come down to the end of the lake and make our way into the campground. Yeah. Weekend, here we come. So here we are, arrived at Gallagher Lake. So we're just gonna get ourselves set up and situated. Frank's just gonna get everything unhooked. Trailer's nice and level. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go check things out. You go over here and I'll turn around, you can see there's, so there's the lake, a little private lake here at the campground. It's quite blustery today, I must say. Walk around the campground later on. They're probably pretty glad next door we broke the wind for them. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. Morning all. Good morning all. It's first uh, morning here in the trailer in Manfred. And uh, Jen has just fixed us some pancakes. And we're going to have some whipped cream and we got some uh, blueberries to go on there. Yes. So, so. Um, let's just uh, have our first cup here. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, Alrighty. Awesome. Well, the day looks like it's going to be a little cloudy today, but at least the wind has died down. There's no wind. Oh, I thought we were going to get blown off the jacks last night. Yeah. 
we're supposed to uh, it's supposed to get up to about uh, 17 by this late this afternoon so we'll see yeah mm -hmm. so let's we'll see if we can't get the of course the lake is like glass this morning but it's a little chilly out there so yeah, yeah. we'll see what this afternoon brings and maybe we'll get the, the kayak out this afternoon yeah but. we're gonna try we're gonna but, try uh, yeah. other than that it is a relaxing morning which is what this weekend was all about so So Frank's out going to try and get the drone up. You can see that the lake this morning is like glass. A little bit of sun starting to peek through. We're hoping to get the kayak out today. So uh, we'll see how our pilot does with his little mini Mavic drone and hopefully get some cool footage to show you later. Close the door. Oh. Alrighty, let's do this. Morning. Morning. Okay. Okay, where's the skeg? Yep, no, oh, skeg. Let's go. Push me out. Oh. Hey, we should have had water shoes. Yeah. Wah. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, so um, take two. Looks like the rest of today's video will be taken with the Samsung S20, which is okay because it takes amazing pictures and video. It's just trying to keep it stable. So, it's so bear with us. We're pretty. We're we're doing all right. It's got like the uh, stabilization, eh? Yep. Yeah, pretty good. So. While we're kind of in the midst of editing this particular video for Gallagher Lake, I thought we'd kind of take a moment and explain a little bit more about um, the GoPro in the water. Um, when he hit the water, he was not fully waterproof. Unfortunately, we had an external mic plugged in, so the door was off, and 
um, yeah, he got wet. So we frantically dug him out of the water as fast as we could and got him back into the trailer as fast as we could. And hopefully, we hoped we could bring him back to life if we got him dried out in time. So he worked for a little bit after we got him out of the water, but after that, everything went dead. So we were keeping our fingers crossed if we gave him some time to dry out that things would things would work. However, in the meantime, we used the, the uh, smartphones to shoot some additional video, which turned out really well. They take amazing videos. And then um, we thought we'd come back, put a brand new battery in, close everything up, turn the GoPro on, and this happened. Hi, GoPro. Oh, so glad you're back. <laughs> Oh, yes, we are. We are really glad you're back. And we're so sorry we dumped you. We will not do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for coming back. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, that's got my finger in the way. <laughs> burrowing out. Uh, I think this is burrowing out. Uh, Janet's supposed to be driving here. I am. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here's all the vineyards. So, we're trying to see all of this. So you can see we've kind of transitioned into a bit of a combination of orchard and vineyard now. And it's still a bit early. There's a few of the cherry trees that have popped into go. blossom, but yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the road. road but yeah, you can there. see the trees here. So um, the cherry trees, yeah. we're a bit <laughs> early for some of the blossoms. So there's some in behind here, of course, can't see them. Just the <laughs> there's nothing down there. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hope we don't get motion sickness. <laughs> now lots of orchards and vineyards. Yeah, down here. lots of orchards and vineyards down here. Down this whole section of 97 coming south towards the border between uh, Osoyoos and um, Oroville, Washington is crazy in the summertime with all the fruit stands, the wineries that are open for touring. Yeah, it's um, big business down this end. Oh, oh, I don't know if you can oh. see at the back there. That is all, I'm guessing, cherry trees that are in blossom. Oh, cool. Too bad they weren't closer to the road. I'll bring the road closer to them. Oh, is that what? You know what? We have the technology. We're just going to bring the road closer to the blossoms. Yeah, these are cherry trees. So pretty. And very, oh, too bad we didn't have a smell of phone because, man, does it ever smell good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. I feel like I should be in a wedding party. But it's lovely. The smells are amazing. Oh look! <laughs> here comes, here comes my groom. <laughs> it's amazing, eh? Yeah. Doesn't it smell nice? Yeah. Oh, look at the bees, eh? Bees are busy. Bees are busy. Yeah. I, mean, no. I don't know if you can see it's them. Breezy out here. Yeah, it's a bit breezy for them to sit still long enough to. If it was nice, and really warm, it would even be more fragrant. Yeah. It's windy, but it's closed. Yeah. Normally this would be lined up like crazy. Uh, well, that was kind of fun. We just took a picture of this couple. They just got engaged. <laughs> but if you were coming across the border, here's what you'd see. Coming into the lovely province of British Columbia. But we're not going, are we? <laughs> <laughs>
All right, let's try another take of our uh, electrical wire monster. He has been there for years. Need to trim. And then when he gets tired of standing, kind of sits in there for a while. Isn't it be this morning? Oh, beautiful, sunny, but oh, it's chilly. But Lee, hey, no wind. Yeah, no wind. It's been windy all weekend. It's windy all weekend, but at least we didn't have any rain. Yeah. Got, but, uh, uh, boy, it's emptying out pretty quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That last Little. day of a long Easter weekend, Easter Monday, so. We got six minutes till checkout. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we just think, made I, it. I don't think they're counting. Yeah, we just made it. So. But, yeah, so we're going to head on home. We have a lovely weekend and. Yeah, a lot okay. of things accomplished. Mm -hmm. Learned a few things. Learned a few things, yeah. <laughs> I'll, we'll share those with you in the, in the video. But uh, once we get this thing put, put together, together yes. it'll be a bit. Yeah, but... But yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been a great... Good first trip out for the yeah. season. Kind of, yeah. you know, trying to get back into the rhythm of things and, yeah. you know, checklists and this and who's doing what, so it's all and good. Most, most things worked. Mm -hmm. yep. Some things were a bit sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> they still worked. Huh? But yeah, took a nice little drive. We did. Yeah, nice little uh, drive. Saw the cherry blossoms. Yeah, so. went out to uh, see the padlock on the border. On the border. Yeah, yeah, it's still on the border. So yeah. Anywho, well, so, we're on our way. So yep. uh, we're heading home. Heading home and getting ready for another week of work. Call it a wrap on the Easter weekend holiday. Yeah. So. Like you said, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm. So, if you like this video and uh, you got some fun out of it, <laughs> uh, you know, let's give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, yeah, please consider doing so. Like we said before, it'll only help these two newbies and this YouTube adventure. If you will. <laughs> it's cheap entertainment. Come on. <laughs> yeah, cheap entertainment. So, anyway. That being said. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.